Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about engineering hydrology and the question will be from the chapter of hydrograph analysis. So now let's solve the question. But before we solve the question, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. So now let's pass the question. The first, the S curve obtained from the unit hydrograph for two hours of a basin is given below. Now you can see here for S curve. And we are going to derive the uh, unit hydrograph for three hours by S curve technique. So let's uh, do it. First, I'm going to show you here for the A. Okay, this is going to be for A. So now we have an S curve here. We have an S curve here, okay, for two hours unit hydrograph. So now I'm going to leg it for three hours. Look at here, because it asks as uh three hours so i'm going to leg it for three hours this is one second three hours light okay and it's going to be three hours legged and it's going to start with here zero okay 10 and uh, 25 and 44 and 65 82 and 96 and it's going to be 107 and it's going to be 116 and 122 and 126 and 128 129 and 130 okay so now we got it so let's uh, take the differences of this both uh, column okay take the differences of them We are going to take the differences. So from the differences, it's going to be 0, it's going to be 10, and this is going to be uh, 25. Right. This is going to be 44, and this is going to be uh, 55, and this is going to be 57. This is going to be uh, 42, sorry, uh, 52. And this is 42, and this is 34, and this is 26. 19 and 12 it's going to be uh, 7 and this is going to be 4 and this is going to be or well, sorry 2 and it's going to be 1 and it's going to be 0 okay so now we got the differences of uh, this both column okay for example this is a and this is b where this is a minus b okay and now we are going to multiply multiply the differences of these both columns with a ratio okay this ratio this ratio is going to be this one for example now it is given as two hours unit hydrograph right so we are going to write the uh, up of the line as two okay and uh, from for the bottom we are going to write as which one it asks in the question it asks three hours unit hydrograph right so it's going to be two over three okay I'm going to multiply the differences with the 2 uh, over 3 and I'm going to obtain as unit hydrograph for 3. Okay, so let's uh, do it. This is going to be 0 and 10 multiplied 2, 20 over 3 and it's going to be 6.67, right? And it's going to be 16.67 uh, because 25 multiplied 2 over 3 it's going to be 16.67 and 44 multiplied 2 over 3 and this is going to be uh, 29.33 okay so it's going to be multiplied with this ratio and this is going to be 29 sorry yeah 33 and 36.67 and 38 and uh, 34.67 and 28 and it's going to be uh, 22.67 17.33 and 12.67 8 4.67 2.67 1 1.33 and 0.67 and 0. Now we got the unit hydrograph for three hours. A the part of A is solved. So let's part the uh, part. Sorry, let's solve the 
part B, and we are going to derive the unit hydrograph for one hour, okay, using the uh, S-curve technique. So now, so now let's do it for the uh, unit hydrograph one hour. So how it's going to be? For the uh, previous part, we uh, lagged three hours for the unit hydrograph three, okay. So now we are going to lag one hour for one unit hydrograph one, okay. One hour, one hour lagged for unit hydrograph for unit hydrograph one right so we are going to uh, leg it for one hour so it's going to be there's there will be no any uh, flow here so it's good this is going to start with this uh, row okay and with zero and it's going to be 10 and 25 44 65 82 and uh, this is going to be 96 and 107 116 122 126 128 130 130 130 now it's okay we got the one hour leg unit hydrograph for two hours so now we are going to take the differences of both because you know for the unit uh, for the s curve we have to take the differences okay so this is going to be differences let's take the differences this is zero this is 10 this is 15 this is 19 and this is 21 this is 17 this is 14 and uh, this is 11 okay and this is 9 6 4 two and this is going to be one and this is going to one and this is zero okay so now uh, i guess you remember for the previous we i told you that we have to multiply the uh, differences uh, by a ratio okay so what was the ratio what was the ratio the given the given unit hydrograph is for two hours okay this one for two hours and the uh, the, the the question is asked for the one hour unit hydrograph if you remember look at here for the question for one hour so it's going to be two over one right two over one so this is going to be unit hydrograph for one hour so now i'm going to multiply i'm going to multiply the differences with this ratio so let's multiply it's going to be zero 20 30 38 42 34 and this is going to be uh, 28 and this is going to be 22 and it's going to be 18 it's going to be 12 and uh, this is going to be 8 and this is going to be uh, four, sorry 4 and this is going to be 2 and it's going to be 2 and it's going to be 0 so now you can see that I got the entire hour for one hour this was uh, the part B so we also saw the for part B. So let's check for the uh, part C. What it asked? Check unit hydrograph three for sorry from unit hydrograph for one obtained in B. Okay, by using the lagging method. So now we are going to use the unit hydrograph one, and we are going to obtain unit unit hydrograph three, and we are going to check that they are the same. This one. So let's do it. Look at here. I have this unit hydrograph for one hour here. Okay. So now I'm going to take this one and write it down here. So now let's do it for the C, the part C. This is going to be part C. Uh, this is unit hydrograph for one hour by lagging method. By lagging method, we are going to determine unit hydrograph for three. Okay. So how it's going to be if I lag one by one? Sorry, look at here one hour unit hydrograph one and again i'm going to uh, make another make another legging for two hour right two hour unit hydrograph one because i i'm going to give you formula before so it's going to be better for you three hour unit hydrograph three is equal to unit hydrograph one plus one hour unit hydrograph sorry a one hour lagged 
one hour length unit tidograph one and plus two hour length unit tidograph one and this three when i take the summation of this three i'm going to obtain the three unit tidograph three and i have to divide it three okay to obtain the unit tidograph uh, three so let's do it i'm going to leg it one hour left and two hour left so first i'm going to do uh, i'm going to do for this one one hour left this is going to be there is literally no flow and it's going to be zero and it's going to be 20 and 30 and 38 and it's going to be 42 and it's going to be 34 28 22 18 and it's going to be uh, 12 8 4 2 and 2 okay now we obtain this all so let's do it for the uh, two hour leg unit hydrog of one this is going to be there will be no uh, flow there will be no flow and here we are going to start it's going to be 0 20 and this is going to be 30 this is going to be 38 42 okay 34 28 22 18 uh i wish i didn't make any mistake no no it's okay it's correct so this is going to be 12 it's going to be 8 this is going to be 4 it's going to be 2 and it's going to be 2. now we got it these are zero and now i have to take the summation of them okay summation so when i take the summation of them it's going to be something like that this is going to be zero this is going to be 20 and this is going to be i'm going to take the summation of them right 30 20 50 and uh, 38 30 and 20 it's going to be 88 it's going to be 110 114 and 104 and 84 and this is going to be 68, 52, and this is going to be 38, 30, 24, and this is going to be 14, and this is going to be 8, it's going to be 4, and this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 0. So now we got the summation of them. So now I told you that I told you that look at the formulation. I got the summation of one hour unit hydrograph. Okay, and then one hour length for one hour unit target graph, this one. Okay, look at here, this, this, and now the third one is this one. Two hour length, one hour unit target graph. So I take the summation of them, and this is equal to three hours unit target graph for three. So now, let's, so uh, yes, three unit target graph for three hours. Yeah, three hour, three unit target graph for three hours. So let's divide this summation, summation over three, and we are going to obtain unit hydrograph for three hours. So now let's do it. And this is going to be 20, and this is zero, and this is going to be 20 over three, 6.67, and 50 over three, and this is going to be 16.67 okay so now let's write it you understand how we are going to do it but i'm going to write it automatically so 6.67 and 16.67 and 29.33 29 and the 36.67 38 34 point 67 28 22.67 and 17.33 and 12.67 sorry yes yeah, 67 and 8 4.67 2.67 1.33 and 0 0.67 and 0 now you can see that we got the uh, unit hydrograph for three hours. So let's, uh, we are going to make a check with the first one. Look at here, 6.67, 16.67. It is the same with the 
the the new uh, unified order for three hours that you obtain so the result is the same okay so the part c is also sold so let's uh, show the uh, part four uh, it says that determine the drainage area of the basin so how it's going to be determined let's think about it look at here now we have unit hydrora for one hour okay if you want to if you want to uh, calculate the area of a drainage, sorry, drainage area you have to uh, take the summation of unit hydrograph for one hour okay so now i take the summation of that summation of this all you are going to obtain as uh, 260 60 meter cubic per second as the discharge okay total discharge if you get the summation of this also you are going to obtain the same value but for this one it is uh it, there is no any decimal so i just uh, take the unit hydrograph for one hour okay you can take the summation of this one also so now let's do it for this one we got the total discharge is equal to 260 meter cubic per second okay now we got the discharge let's convert it to volume okay what is the volume of uh, the water okay the water it rains uh yeah sorry yeah the water as for the unit hydrograph so what is that 260 multiplied 60 second and multiplied 60 minutes okay this is for uh, one hour so this is going to be equal to nine sorry nine three and six zero 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 meter cubic as the volume now if you got the volume this is volume so now if your volume if you remember that volume is equal to area multiply the depth of water right so this is going to be look at here this is going to be uh nine three six o o o equal to area multiplied the depth of water i take this I take this uh, discharge from the unit hydrograph for one hour, okay? For one hour. So this is going to be for unit hydrograph for one, okay? For one hour, this is equal to 0 0.01 as one centimeter, okay? One centimeter. This is a meter, one centimeter depth of water. Sorry, water depth of water so this is equal to that one so i'm going to multiply this area 0.01 this is meter uh, meter cubic and this is meter so this is going to be the meter square right and when i take the area out of this calculation and i'm going to obtain 93.600 multiplied 10 power 6 meter square as the area of that drainage okay so now the question is solved. Uh, see you for the next question.